Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Today's video is a shopping and decorating video for Valentine's Day 2023. Usually around here, we only have one or the other. It's like a shopping video or a decorating video, but I was gone on vacay last week. So I thought for a bonus video, since I just got home, I would put all of my Valentine's decorating and shopping for 2023 in one video. You guys can put this up on your TV or play it on your phone while you're decorating for Valentine's Day as some extra inspiration. I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you in a new video on Tuesday. Hi guys, today we are doing another Valentine's decorating video. We're going to be in my kitchen decorating my coffee station for Valentine's Day. You guys know I am an avid coffee lover. I drink about two cups of coffee a day, sometimes some tea at night. So I love to have that area of my kitchen decorated since I use that daily. I'm hoping that you guys will be able to get some Valentine's inspiration, get in the mood to decorate, or just some decorating ideas from this video. We're not going to be decorating my whole kitchen because I have a big spring kitchen decorating video I have planned for you guys. So I took down all my Christmas decor and I just decided that I am going to embrace the empty kitchen with just the essentials until we decorate it for spring and then just have the coffee station, the little coffee bar decorated for Valentine's Day again because I use that daily. I always get questions about this tray every time I bring it out to use it. It is from the at home store. I don't remember how much it was, but at home is pretty reasonable with their pricing, kind of like home goods. If you guys are decorating for Valentine's Day in your home, you'll have to let me know, are you sticking with traditional Valentine's colors like red, pink, and white, or are you kind of going outside the box? In my last video, I did a Valentine's decorating at my mother-in-law's house, and we did a be beautiful Valentine's tree, and we decorated her dining room. We kind of went with pastel colors, and we did hints of red, and I thought it was so beautiful. So I wanted to do that here at the coffee station but I just decided to do traditional red pink and white and I think it turned out really good how do we feel about my organized drink drawer too I think I really love it I'm such a drink girl so I loved having extra space to organize my extra drink stuff this glass canister with the red lid is actually part of the Christmas collection from the Target dollar spot. I picked it up for only $5. That burlap strap actually, or the string actually goes around the canister and it comes with a little wooden spoon. I bought them because I wanted to do a fun little homemade hot cocoa thing and put it in there, give it as part of a gift basket gift, and then I ended up just doing something else. So I pulled it out for this Valentine's decorating station, coffee station, and I just filled it full with some M&Ms. I can't believe my phone or my camera died whenever I was getting ready to put the M&Ms in. That would have been such an aesthetic clip, but... We're just rolling with the punches over here and I definitely need about three more bags. I picked up this cute little floral from the spring collection of Target and ended up deciding not to use it because it was too small. I ended up doing something else there, which you guys will see. But if you want to see anything else that was in the spring collection from the Target dollar spot, then you should definitely go check out my Kaylee's catalog Instagram page or my TikTok, the same Kaylee's catalog. I post tons of short form shopping and decorating videos over there. And I actually went ahead and filmed all of the spring collection from Target in their dollar spot and put it up over there on those channels. I think this little corner turned out so cute. I didn't mention the dishcloths, but those are also from Target, along with this cute little sign, Coffee Bar Love is Brewing. I picked it up because obviously I think it's cute. And then also, it looks like my branding. Like, I have Kaylee's catalog in more of a block font, and then underneath I have shopping and decorating in a more cursive, and I think it looks like my thumbnails. 
<laughs> you hear Brooklyn in the background. <laughs> They're playing hide and seek with their daddy. I got this cute little bubble gum machine from Hobby Lobby. I did a whole Hobby Lobby shop with me. I think I already mentioned that, but that was a couple of videos before this. Do be very careful if you did pick this up or you plan on picking it up because the glass is very fragile. I actually bought two and ended up shattering one just trying to take the lid off. And I was being very gentle. It actually sliced my finger. So be very careful with that. And I also picked up these cute little coffee cups from the Target dollar spot. I love the fonts on one of them or how one of the cups have fonts and the other one has a cute print. So I style those over there with this other mug underneath my coffee machine. It is beautiful and it's big and I just love the size of it. I got that one from Hobby Lobby. And I just think my coffee station is turning out so cute and girly and I just really love it. So this is what the kitchen looks like now that I'm done. Everything is kind of bare in the main kitchen, which I'm actually really liking for right now because I do put a lot of decor in there during Christmas time. So I like just having the coffee station have decor and this is just how it turned out. I think it's really cute. You guys will let me have to let me know what y'all think and if you are decorating your little coffee station too. I also need to know, is anybody else a coffee lover like I am? Or do you guys like sodas or do you not do caffeine? You guys will have to let me know. Today we are back with another decorating video. We're gonna be doing a Valentine's decorating. I'm super excited. We're gonna be doing this tree right behind me, a whole bunch of Valentine's ornaments on there. We're gonna be doing a Valentine's tablescape in the dining room. And then we're also gonna dabble in the butler's pantry, doing some Valentine's decor in there with the coffee station and whatnot. So if you're interested, then just stay tuned and we'll go ahead and we'll jump right into it. So we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. So we're gonna start with the dining room. We are at my mother-in-law's house. If you guys are new here, then I, I'm so glad you're here, first of all. <laughs> and also, I decorate my house for the holidays and I also decorate my mother-in-law's house because she loves to go over the top. She loves to be super festive, so it's so much fun decorating her home. We're going to be doing a tablescape in here. We're gonna decorate this Kings of Christmas tree as a Valentine's Day tree. And we'll, we'll start decorating that here in a couple minutes. We're gonna do the tablescape first, but I'm super excited to get to 
that part of the video. Then we're going to do her butler's pantry and then we're even going to do her entryway where she has a couple of couches that we're going to decorate with blankets and pillows and whatnot. Everything that you see in today's video, I did pick up pretty much at Home Goods or Hobby Lobby and I have two videos that I posted before this one if you're curious of pricing or, you know, up close detailed of how they look or whatever. Those will be in that in those two videos. Um, some of the things we are reusing from the sweets theme that we did at Christmas time and some things like the chargers that I'm about to show you guys um, are from Kirkland's but if you have a question about anything in particular decor wise I always say ask me down in the comments because I remember so I'll let you know um, where it's from and sometimes I can remember the pricing as well. These beautiful wooden chargers are from Kirkland's. They are a Pier 1 dupe guys and these red studded plates and the appetizer plates are both from home goods the pink napkin and the napkin holder are from amazon and i think that this works perfect for valentine's day to incorporate a few other colors other than red and pink i like to see lilac purples and blues pretty pastel colors mixed in batley are you filming yeah what are you filming girlfriend <laughs> The kids <laughs> on the wall. Mm -hmm. Guys, Bentley wanted a camera so bad for Christmas. Santa brought her a vlogging camera. She wants to make videos like mommy, showing how she cleans her room and decorates, and she wants to show her toys and just all kinds of different things. So I think I'm gonna make her, she wants a YouTube channel, but I told her no, no, no. But I think I'm gonna make one and it be like private so I could put her videos on there for her. So are you a YouTuber? A little messy too. <laughs> Look at the outfit too. That's beautiful. I think the dining room table turned out so pretty. I asked you guys in the last video what you guys like to decorate in your home for Valentine's Day and a lot of you guys said the dining room. So I'm curious, do you guys think this turned out good or what would you have done differently or would you have added, would you have taken away or do you think it looks good? I think it looks really good. I'm super excited about it. The only thing I would have done differently was add glasses and silverware, but because we have such a large family and so many kids running around 24 seven, I didn't want to put that out there because, you know, don't want anybody to get hurt. I love that nutcracker so I had to show him again my husband made that for my mother-in-law for Christmas and he DIY like painted it um, the pastel colors it was like black blue and red it's from Walmart um, she wanted it to fit her sweet theme so had to show that again we are now about to dabble into decorating the tree and then we'll head to the butler's pantry but boom How'd you like that transition? I thought that was so cute. It went from nighttime to daytime. I didn't want to show decorating the tree piece by piece because I just thought it took up too much time. So I decorated it off camera at night and then it was like done the next morning and now I'm showing you guys what it looks like. So I thought that was a cool transition. Y'all will have to let me know what you think or do you kind of like when I show like fast overall montage footage of me decorating it. I reused a lot of the um, sweet theme pieces, the ornaments that we used for Christmas time, but we did incorporate a lot of new ornaments as well. So some of the Valentine's ones that are specific, like the love letter sign, the truck, the little gnomes, um, the big hugs and kisses, mail signs, the little envelopes with the hearts, all those are from either Home Goods or Hobby Lobby in the previous two videos that I posted. And then things like the gumball machine, the huge ice creams, and the lollipops and whatnot, we use those at Christmas time. So the ribbon with the hearts, the red ribbon there, is also from Hobby Lobby. And the gnomes holding the like X's and the O's, that was actually garland from Home Goods that I cut up and used as ornaments. So I think it is beautiful. I think it turned out so good. We're gonna use this as a Galentine's party area and then we're also just you know gonna soak it up and enjoy having a little dining room festive valentine's day decor here <laughs> i wanted to add in really quick Mom, my instagram yes brooklyn that, that is a triangle guys every single video i tell you she has got to chime in and say something while i'm doing a voiceover everybody likes hearing you talk brooklyn do you want to say hi to them hi <laughs> 
<laughs> but what I was saying was that I wanted to add in my Instagram handle here and my TikTok handle in case you guys like to, you know, get on those platforms as well. I do share short form videos of fun little Target or Walmart finds and short little clips of me decorating. So just wanted to include that here in case you guys want to follow along on those platforms as well. When you walk into my in-laws home, this is the first room that you see. It's the entryway and then whenever you look to the left, that is where the dining area is and the butler's pantry. Just for reference, if you guys are curious of where all these rooms are. I added some heart pillows in here and some other pillows and blankets that we picked up from Home Goods, and we kept the nutcrackers in here. They fit the color scheme that we were going for for Valentine's Day, so why not? But if you guys are new here, we use these nutcrackers next to the tree for Christmas, and I just think they're so cute. So I'm like, we should keep them out, Deanna. Like, let's not put them up yet, and she was totally on board for that. If you guys loved this video, please subscribe if you haven't already and give it a thumbs up. It helps YouTube say, oh, someone liked this video. Let's put it out for other people to like. And it just helps my channel a lot. I want to thank you guys so much because I had a goal for 2023 to reach 4K. And even though I didn't reach that by... January 1st. I'm about to hit that goal and it's only a couple of weeks into January. So I'm super, super grateful and just super ecstatic about it that you guys love shopping with me and decorating with me. So thank you again so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Are you ready to go shopping? Yeah. Do you want to go home good? You want to go take it? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> All right, let's go, girlfriend. Hi, guys, and welcome back to another shopping video. Today, we are doing a home goods Valentine's Day decor shop with me. And I'm starting it off by doing a little vlog style, packing my new diaper bag slash purse. Hunter got me this tote bag by Marc Jacobs for Christmas and I love it. I wanted to show you guys just a little bit of like how I pack it with that organizer in it because I know a lot of people are loving this bag right now. So if you get it, definitely get this Amazon organizer that goes inside so that you can keep your bag organized. I used to love those videos on YouTube watching how people packed their bags before they would go out. I feel like that's like two or three years ago on YouTube. Did you guys watch those? Anyway, we're here at Home Goods now. We're doing some Valentine's shopping. I'm starting off with showing you a little bit of the food, the little chocolates that they have available that are so stinking cute. And then we're gonna go on to showing you guys the home decor that they have for Valentine's. I'm gonna show you pillows. I'm gonna show you blankets. Um, dishes, cups, like all kinds of things because Home Goods was overflowing with Valentine's decor, guys. Starting the video off with showing you these conversation heart pillows because they are so cute. They come in pink, blue, and yellow. They're a set of three for $30. I'll show them to you more in detail at the end of today's video. I'm going to be doing a huge Home Goods Valentine's Day decor haul at the end of the video to show you everything I'm going to be decorating with. Um, on Friday's video, I'm doing a Valentine's Day decorate with me so you don't want to miss that make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and yeah let's just go ahead and show you everything else that home goods has to offer because like i said they have aisles and aisles and aisles of valentine's decor so you know home goods is always full of gnomes for christmas for halloween they always have themed gnomes so i'm just showing you a little bit of the valentine's gnomes they're around 12 dollar mark they have just so many <laughs> So many guys. They have ones holding little envelopes. They have ones holding hearts. They have holding nothing. They have metal ones. They have plush ones. Also, guys, we're gonna have to ignore the fact that I'm like taking such large breaths between every word. I have no idea why it is so hard for me to breathe right now. I'm like sitting down doing this voiceover and just having like a hard time. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys up close of this gingerbread house because look how stinking cute those two lovebirds are. Oh my gosh, I've never seen a Valentine's Day gingerbread house before, ever. And these are just so darling. I love this peach one that has light pinks, 
reds, dark pinks. It's from the brand Love and Cupcakes, and they always have such darling decor out at Home Goods. I'm really not upset with the pricing for their Valentine's Day decor. During my Christmas home goods shop with me, we were talking in the comments. Um, I was talking to you guys about how the pricing was like double what it normally is. And you guys were agreeing with me and telling me it was the same at your guys' home goods. But now I feel like the pricing is back to what it normally is there. If you guys are loving these Valentine's finds, you definitely need to head over to Lizzie's channel. You guys know I love It's Lizzie. That's her YouTube handle. And I will link her video in the description box. This isn't a collab video, but she's doing her first shopping video today. She always posts like decorating and cleaning videos, but this one's her first shopping. She's doing all kinds of Valentine's decor shopping. I think she's going to Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, Target. So y'all go over there, show her some love and tell her I said hi. We got a cart full of stuff. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> Brooklyn loves going shopping, you guys. Like, she just has the time of her life when I take her out. My mother-in-law came with me for this shopping trip. Um, so if you see me, like, walking away from the cart, I'm not leaving her alone or anything like that. I have my mother-in-law there with me. So just had to say that because I don't want you guys thinking I'm a bad mom or something, you know? Anyway. <laughs> Moving back on to the home decor, I am loving this blanket, guys. It's red and it has white little hearts all over it. They have so many blanket options, which after I show you guys the pillows, I'll show you guys more of the blanket options. But this one was my favorite. It was $25, so definitely had to get that. And as far as the pillows go, I love that they had a little bit of something for everybody. They had Valentine's pillows that had bright colors on them. They had pillows with pastels. This one was perfect for my mother-in-law's house. It had little um, white flowers around it and little tassels. This one that has XOXO on it and all the bright colors. I'm so mad at myself because I did not buy that. And I think it would fit our playroom perfectly, especially because Santa brought the girls a nugget and they love putting pillows on the nugget. And that would have just matched perfectly. And I didn't grab it. I went back the other day. They didn't have any more. <laughs> so upset with myself. Um, but like I was saying, there's something for everybody. They have neutral pillows here. This one was so cute i loved the beige with the white hearts they even have heart-shaped pillows so a little bit of something for everybody there is only one of you only one of me there's a million of those who won't let us be but they're not gonna not gonna see me bleed because baby i got you 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 i've been beaten to the ground dragged across the dirt I've been scared to live cause some people never learn But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby I got you, 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 you If you guys are decorating your bedroom or your kid's bedroom for Valentine's Day, you need to run to Home Goods and get one of their lumbar pillows because they are all adorable. I feel like they'd be perfect for a bedroom. I really wanted like to decorate my bedroom for Valentine's Day because you guys loved when I decorated my bedroom for Christmas and I'd never done that before and it was just so cozy and nice to go in there at night and have that relaxing, cozy Christmas spirit in there so I was like 
ooh, I think it would be fun to do a Valentine's one, but I don't want to commit to it because Valentine's decor doesn't stay out as long as like Christmas or Halloween does. So I'm going to skip out on it this year, but are you guys decorating your bedrooms? What areas of your guys' house do you decorate for Valentine's Day? That's what I'm super curious about. So in my house, I only ever decorate like my coffee station. So on Friday's video, my Valentine's decorate is going to be at my mother-in-law's house and we're decorating her entryway, her dining room table. We're even doing a Valentine's tree, which I'm super excited about. And we're even doing her butler's pantry. So she's going all out over there. That's what we've been shopping for when we were at Home Goods. Um, today and when we were at Hobby Lobby, when was my Hobby Lobby video? Like three days ago. If you guys didn't watch that one, definitely go check that one out. We found tons of good Valentine's Day finds there. But I'm gonna stop blabbering and really quick go ahead and mention before I play some more shopping music that if you are doing a Galentine's brunch or any type of Valentine's Day dinner, you need to get one of these runners because it will elevate your dining table tremendously. Like Home Goods has so much runners and they had or so many. I did not, that was not proper grammar. They have so many runners is what I meant to say. They had like over the top ones, vibrant ones. They had more neutral ones. So it was really fun looking through everything that they had. And now I'm showing you guys a couple more of oversized blankets that they have. And then I'm going to show you some of their dining options. Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this night away Not To the groove and the light the flickers We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker We get away, get away from the drinks and chatter Haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter Feel the air get thinner Standing in a blurry dream No one else can see us Live your life within the moment Till the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this side away So we are done shopping at Home Goods for Valentine's decor. Just like in my last Hobby Lobby video, after the shopping, I do a haul of everything that I picked up at the store. So I did get those conversation heart pillows. They come in pink blue and yellow they say self-care things on them like you got this proud of you and you matter and i cannot wait to put those on the couch i think that's going to be so cute in deanna's entryway for people to walk in and then just automatically see those on her couch we did get this love pillow as well that has pretty little flowers on the o and it also has tassels she also did get this red oversized blanket with the white hearts we're doing red and pink and white, you know, the traditional Valentine's colors, but we're also doing a splash of like purple and blue. I'm just super excited for you guys to see that video on Friday. You're going to love it. We did pick up a few mugs for the coffee station and a tea kettle. Love that red one with the white heart. It matches the blanket. And we did pick up quite a few gnomes. We're going to end up doing a gnome cluster. So 
Um, we picked up about six gnomes. Of course, had to grab a few signs to decorate with and some festive garland and this peanut butter and jelly. Oh my gosh, how stinking cute is this? I did not show you this while we were shopping um, because it was like one of those when you're in line finds where they get you when you're checking out and you just grab it. And we also did grab a wreath to decorate with. There are tons of light pink and white pom-poms all beaded together and it does have a little hook on the back, a little felt hook to hang it and then had to pick up this giant gnome. I love the socks. They're like the cozy socks, the little ruffled ones and they have glitter on them and the little pink shoes and he's holding like a lollipop that's a heart. I love everything. It looks so festive and I cannot wait to decorate on Friday for Valentine's Day. We're going to be doing the entryway, the dining, the butler's pantry, and you guys were doing a Valentine's Day tree. So y'all are going to love it. I can't wait to see you there on Friday. If you Hi guys. Today we are back with another shopping video. I'm super excited to be going to Hobby Lobby today and you guys all their new Valentine's decor from their Valentine's collection for 2023. I can't believe I'm already saying that. We're going to be jumping right in today's video it's going to be super chatty because i'm going to be telling you guys the details of these items that i'm showing you along with pricing and they had aisles and aisles so it's a little bit of a long video there's also going to be a huge haul at the end of today's video because i did pick up quite a few things here from hobby lobby so first things first these canisters are the first things that caught my eye i love the pale pink one they have it in white they have it in red and the hearts are raised i just want to let you know if you have your eyes on these you can definitely put your food in these canisters because they seal very good i know the lids are kind of like popping off that's just because they're not pushed down all the way so i didn't want you to see that and think it could just only be used as a decor piece it could definitely be used to seal your foods as well. I also love this two-tiered tray. I think it kind of speaks for itself. It's so Valentine's-y. It has the huge wooden hearts as the tray placement parts, and then the metal at the top is also as a heart, and this is sitting at $19. You guys will also have to bear with me again. As always, in my voiceovers, I have my family in my background 24-7. <laughs> and it's always loud. You can always hear people talking. You can always hear Brooklyn having a conversation next to me. So I'm sorry about that. Do want to apologize in advance. Um, but moving along here, I love these little glass jars with lids. They have a ribbed detail on the glass and I just think they look so stinking precious. I love that they have hearts on the lids that seal. They have these in red, pink, and white as well. And that's kind of like the color scheme that Hobby Lobby has going for their Valentine's collection is all red, pink, and white. And I know that sounds like you're like, well, that is traditional Valentine's colors, Kaylee. You're right, that is, and I love it all. I'm not complaining. I wish that we could see a little bit more of a lilac purple and more of a pretty blue in Valentine's decor. That's what I'm kind of on the hunt for. So if you guys have seen anything with those colors, let me know down in the comments so I can go to that store. I also wanted to show you guys these little envelopes. These are so stinking cute. Had to show you guys these up close. These are like little ceramic mail envelopes. I have an idea to decorate my Christmas tree as a Valentine's tree. So stay tuned for that video because that's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna make a lot of these things that I'm grabbing from Hobby Lobby into ornaments. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hobby Lobby has so much Valentine's decor, guys. So definitely come and check out what they have if you need anything like little pieces for styling a two-tier tray or if you're wanting to craft they obviously have tons of stuff for that i'm looking at these little pails because i think they would be so cute if your kids are in school or if you give them a little valentine's gift this one has a little dinosaur on it and the other one's a unicorn they have solid red ones they have red ones with hearts they had tons they also just have tons of signs and little knickknacks little floral arrangements i love the little birds that they have here and i know i just said signs but they have tons and tons of signs so i'm going to show you a little bit of what they have they have little conversation bubbles you're my person i'm yours no refunds we should probably cuddle <laughs> love you more i love us just cute little cute little signs like that that i think would spruce up your valentine's decor putting them styling them on a little book or whatever it is oh you want to say hi you want to color okay the pieces that are not super valentine's -y, but they also have little hints like the cutting board i just showed you that just had the little heart cut out on the top and then also these uh bowls these are little like dainty bowls they're in a set of two and they're only 11 dollars. and i think they're so cute i love the mug selection that they have for valentine's and if you're having a galentine's party or you have a daughter that's having like a little play date for valentine's they have tons of dining options so they have like the tablecloths they have um valentine's bowls valentine's plates silverware like anything for that definitely go to Hobby Lobby. They even have like a chips and dip platter, which I'm about to show you guys here in a second. I couldn't get it to pop out for me to like show you up close, but you can tell like where the chips go and where the dip goes. I think that's right here. And everything is like red, pink, white, the traditional Valentine's colors, you know, they even have uh, Valentine's wrapping paper guys. <laughs> so definitely if you're doing any types of Valentine's party, you want to come to Hobby Lobby. Guys, I found the Berenstein Bears Valentine's books at Hobby Lobby and I had to get a clip and show you guys because these were my favorite books growing up when I was a kid. I would always read the Berenstein Bears and I had to ask you guys if y'all read them as well. I also wanted to ask you guys if y'all do anything for Valentine's Day. So I'm looking at all these dining options and party options for Valentine's Day and it made me start thinking Bentley is probably going to want to do a Galentine's party with her friends so I should probably pick up like some of the muffins tins that they have napkins plates you know the chips and dip bowls that kind of thing because they have tons endless options honestly they had a whole aisle of just party supplies and so it made me think i wanted to ask you guys do you guys celebrate valentine's day do you do like a special breakfast for valentine's with your kids or yes brooklyn i'm i'm talking to the youtube family i'm trying to do my voiceover what are you doing <laughs> but y'all will have to let me know. I'm super curious about it because before I had my daughters, Valentine's Day really wasn't that big of a deal for me. Never really celebrated it. And then since I've had Bentley in Brooklyn, it's became a bigger deal. We decorate it for her now. We have like parties for it. So super curious what y'all do.
the garland that Hobby Lobby had for Valentine's Day was just so precious. All of them were so cute. I also wanted to show you a few of these wreaths. This is like brown twigs and then it has little white and pink hearts on them. They also have a red and white option for the reef. I think this would be cute to use, just set it down and put a diffuser or a floral in the middle of it. I think they would be so precious on the table. They also have a whole aisle full of like fillers for florals and um signs that can stick down like in your yard if you wanted and then also if you're doing you know like a valentine's or galentine's party and you want your friends to hold like these little signs for a selfie wall or whatever tons of options for that and the pricing was about three or four dollars for the signs i'm definitely picking up quite a few of these little twigs and fillers that i'm showing you guys for the valentine's tree that i'm doing i'm super excited for that and yeah, just a whole wall full of fillers. <laughs> Bye, a new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself Hobby Lobby has a whole wall full of crafting options. I mean, I'm sure they have more than a whole wall, but I'm just going to show you guys this section. They have stickers that can be reusable for your kids' windows. They have just regular stickers for um, if you're doing like a scrapbook or anything like that. They have little mailboxes. You know, kids need that for school whenever they're doing their Valentine's parties. One that are already done ones that they can make they have things that your kids can paint they have ribbon they have valentine's cards little options that your kids can give their friends for valentine's day you know how they do those little like uh, they have like tattoos i'm trying to like think off the top of my head pencils erasers those types of things that they like attach to the valentine's day cards they have all types of things on this aisle so i'm just going to show you <laughs> all those options I also did want to tell you guys that Hobby Lobby is having 75% off all the remaining Christmas. And if it's a damaged piece, they'll even go up to 90% off. So just wanted to tell you guys that. And yeah, let's get back into the Valentines. They just have end caps full of plates and more decor and florals and even boxes and wrapping paper. They just have so much. You know, Hobby Lobby always has tons of signs for whatever season it is. And I love love all the little valentine signs i also love these little razors they have them in pink white and red and they're just like if you're doing a stacked corner maybe or a floating shelf with stacked decor and there's something in the back that you want to be seen more and it just needs to be a little bit taller use one of those risers for it i think it's always nice to have those on hand i have a whole box full of risers um this bird i couldn't find a price tag on these birds to show you guys but i just love how dainty they are it's a little ceramic white bird that lights up and it has little hearts all over it and what i think is so cute is that it has a little kiss mark on the cheek so definitely had to show you guys that i also found these little bubble gum um, dispensers I know these are a huge hit at Target in the dollar spot they are $12.99 here at Hobby Lobby so they're definitely cheaper at Target I just know they're really hard to find at Target so if you're on the hunt for one of them you can't find it at Target you could always come to Hobby Lobby they're a little bit more expensive but they have aisles and aisles of well not aisles but of them but they have like a whole row of dispensers also had to show you guys that all their cutting boards were 40% off and I love Hobby Lobby cutting boards. I see that every time I do a Hobby Lobby shop with me, if I'm not picking up a cutting board, which today I'm actually am picking up another cutting board. I always have to tell you guys they're great quality. They're really nice and they're for a good price. They also always remind me of either the Pier 1 or the Pottery Barn cutting boards. They're that nice. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky I found my way, I found my way I was 
Just in the dark, against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. Guys, after this Valentine's video, we have got to come back to Hobby Lobby and do another Shop With Me video because I am finding so many things that are dupes for high-end items that y'all know I love looking at like high-end websites and going in store. Um, I don't buy a lot of high-end things, but I love finding dupes and I am finding tons of dupes here at Hobby Lobby. So I definitely want to do another video. So stay tuned for that. So first things first, if you guys watched my Christmas Hobby Lobby shopping video and haul, then you saw that I picked up their um, this like cutting board with the dishcloth the Christmas version of this I picked up like three of them because I gave them to Bentley's teachers um, in a Christmas gift basket like I did several different things and this was like one of them and I really love them they love them I love that it comes with a little burlap bow in case you're giving this as a gift it's just like a one-and-done type thing you can just buy and give it I think it'd be super cute if you're not doing a gift basket you could also just put like a little gift card in there or just give this but I love it for Valentine's Day because it has a little heart cut out right there and then you can see it's just the red and white dishcloth that has a little white heart embroidered in there and I just think that's so precious it's gonna look so cute in the kitchen and then I picked up this little basket for when folks come over and we're just doing a little dinner night with everybody I can put napkins on here and silverware and whatnot I just think this is so cute this is not a Valentine's um, decor piece but it was part of their spring collection that they have coming out that's on it was on sale for like six dollars so had to pick that up I also got this pink vase I was showing you guys this in store I think this will be so cute with some floral stems that I will show you here in a second that I got but I also got these little um, conversation heart little sticks to put in a floral arrangement that I already have. I think that would be so cute. It says love you, you rock, and be mine. I also got this cute little church. It has little hearts all over it and it does light up. So I think this will be really cute on a two-tiered tray or even on a little floating shelf on top of like a home decor book or something like that. I got this little cute glass jar. It has like the ribbed detailing on it that I think is so precious and it has a heart at the top and I just think this will look so cute in the little coffee station. I'm thinking that I'm going to put the pink and white and red Valentine's M&Ms in there. And then I also picked this up. I know this is like a huge hit in the Target dollar spot section. They have like the bigger versions of these. And I really like that Hobby Lobby had them in the smaller versions because I think this will also be cute in the coffee station. I don't know what I'm putting it yet, but, or I might put it somewhere else, I don't know. But I just love how they have the hearts at the top. It's just so cute. Also, for the coffee station, I thought this mug would look so cute just sitting there on the coffee pot. It's very large, so I think it just catches your eyes, and it's just adorable. How many times am I going to say cute and adorable in this video? Going on to signs, I thought this one was so valentine -y. It says we should probably cuddle with little hearts right there, and it's kind of like a monologue bubble, you know? If you hear my kids playing in the background, I'm sorry. Um, they're playing with their Christmas gifts that they got. I also got this little Cupid Express truck that I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but something. And then this little garland that are just these light pink and white beads and they have this tassel at the end and I'm planning on putting this like in between things on the dining room table. I also got these for the kitchen 
just, you guys know I love styling dainty little bowls next to my cutting boards and I don't have any Valentine's ones. So picked those up. Also got this. This was probably my favorite Valentine decor find that I got and it's this canister. You guys saw there were white ones, there were light pink ones and I only got the bright red one but the hearts are like raised and this seals really good because I have other canisters from Hobby Lobby. I have black ones that stay in my like kitchen year round. So I'm just gonna put this like in with them. So I only wanted one. And then also I was showing you guys they have tons of Valentine cards and little things to put with Valentine's cards for your kids if you need some for a really good price. That was only like five dollars. And then I got this two-tiered tray that just has these little wooden hearts. And I'm gonna put some of these signs that I am about to show you guys on here and probably like a little cream, I, I'm not sure. You guys will have to stay tuned for that decorating video, but I have a few ideas of how I'm gonna style this. And I had to get this, guys. Like, how cute. It's like a little beetle bug, and it says loads of love. The license plate says XOXO. You can use this to just, like, prop up against your wall, or you can use it to hang. I'm probably going to prop it up, but I just wanted to show you guys that it does have something to hang. Okay, these are the rest of the signs that I got. This one just says love lives here, and it's a little house. This one is a little mail envelope, and this is, fun fact, my favorite emoji that they have is the little, it literally looks like this. Like, <laughs> it's the envelope with the red heart, and I'm so happy that it's becoming Valentine's time, so I can use that a lot more. Had to go with the classic XOXO to throw in there, and then how stinking cute is this, guys? Like, how stinking cute is this Love Letters mailbox? I got this sign because we are going to be making a Valentine's tree. So you guys will have to definitely stay tuned for that. Um, I have a whole separate Valentine's shop and haul video specifically for Valentine's ornaments. So, but I picked this up because I wanted that to go in there. And then I also got this one that just says hugs and kisses and it has the little beads at the top. I love Hobby Lobby. Like say what you will about Hobby Lobby. Some people are always just like, oh, their stuff is so cheap. And I know it's great quality. 90% of the time I find tons of dupes and they always have good prices. So I also got this cute little roller. So I'm thinking I'm going to use this on the two tiered tray in the kitchen because it's like giving me baker vibes. I just think it's so cute. And then these are the florals that I got for that pink vase that I showed you guys. Um, that pink vase right there. I'm going to stick these in there and it's just little uh, brown branches with tiny little red and white beads but they kind of look like hearts. I think they're made to look like hearts actually. Um, they're really cute. I also got this one and I think I told you guys earlier in the video that when I saw this, what I thought it could be so cute for was if you had a diffuser you could put in the middle um, or a vase. I think it's made to be a reef, but I'm not using it for that purpose. And I just love all the reds and the whites and the pinks. And yeah, that's everything. Okay, so again, I'm so sorry. You can hear my whole family in the background. Hunter's trying to get the kids to eat and I'm trying to wrap up this video. So there's a lot of commotion in the back. But I really hope that you guys got some cute Valentine's decorating ideas from today's video or you see something you like, run to Hobby Lobby and get it. When I went shopping just now today, nothing was 50% off. You guys know how they like alternate weeks. They do like 40 and 50% off every now and then up items well they didn't have that today all the Christmas was 75% off so if you are someone who loves to go and get Christmas decor when it's on sale for the following year definitely go to Hobby Lobby I don't know when their Valentine's is going to be on sale just letting you know it's not this week when I'm posting this video it's not on sale but if you're waiting for that you can go ahead and jot down ideas of what to look for whenever you go. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys in today's video. I hope that you liked it and give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.